So let's go to the Broncos very quickly, and then we'll wrap up. They scored, what, 34 unanswered points, I believe, in the second half? 31. 31 unanswered points. Amazing, because they were down 21-7 to at one point. But let me ask you this. With, look, look, you, you support uh, the Washington football team on every other week, I want to say. Uh, your hate for Dan Snyder has been well documented on this medium. Hang on, hang on. But with Robert Griffin III, what exactly is going into this year that's is, is, is different from last year, but I think I'm answering my own question. Is it the fact that they're asking him to pass more? Are they running the ball less? I mean, what is it? It was a weird game. A very strange game. First of all, this is the first game where you could say that Griffin took a step backwards because he really appeared to be getting better. Mm -hmm. um, you as know, a pocket passer. And as a runner, he had over 80 yards last week. But this week, everything looked off. The Broncos put a lot of pressure on him. He didn't escape that pressure effectively. Uh, he definitely had some key drops on balls that weren't perfectly thrown. Big throw to Josh Morgan that, you know, he just was a little behind him, but it's the NFL. Nobody, Josh Gordon. Josh Go no, Josh Morgan for the rest. Josh Morgan. Uh, and he didn't catch it. And uh, Santana Moss dropped a touchdown pass. Um, so, like, it was – but that said, he didn't look good. You can't kid yourself. I think he was 15 to 30, um, fewer than 200 yards, and he didn't run all that effectively. What right. was puzzling, the weird things about this game, was that the Redskins' defense played so great in the first half against the Broncos, held him to seven points, then got the two turnovers in the second half – up 21-7. D'Angelo Hall had a pick six, did he not? D Hall had a pick six. Alfred Morris had over 80 yards rushing in the first half. Hmm. And then on the Redskins' first four possessions, I might be mistaken here. Maybe it was the fourth did possession. He, Maybe, the ball? he didn't get the ball. They were, by the time he got oh. the – they were up 21-7. By the time he got the ball again, they were behind. Like, at what – Interesting. Like, you know me. I don't like to – you know, I have, like, the world of running backs. Is, don't fix hey, anything that's not broken. Well, when you're up 21-7 and you're hoping to keep Peyton Manning off the field and you've run for 85 Run the yards, clock and run the ball. Then you run the ball. Like, I got it. And you don't – it's not like the Redskins got these great receivers. Like, run the ball. It was weird. And that game just got out of – I mean, what's a, the Broncos were a 12-point favorite, and you had to think if you had Washington, oh, this is the greatest bet. At least they're going to cover. The right. Broncos may come back and win. But you lost. I mean, that was just – the Redskins are – they're the Washington is horrible. And, um, and they're just not interesting. They're just not interesting. And I, I – I just, you know, and look, at what point there's one consistent consistency to how bad the Redskins have been since the 90s yeah. when Joe Gibbs left, and it's Dan Snyder. But, I mean, he's been there. The team, he has not, he has hired good coaches. He hasn't, you know, Shanahan yeah. gave us a great year last year, but Shanahan's plan, this is year four. Like, it's not working. You got one 10 and 6 season out of it where you were 5 and 6, and then you won your last five. It's not working. Peyton Manning, by the way, went uh, 30 of 44, 354 yards, four touchdowns, three interceptions, 2,919 yards through the halfway point, most in NFL history. He, he, uh, he made a couple of weird throws. Two of those picks were when they were already ahead, and it seemed like they should have been running out the clock, and the yeah. Redskins uh, made a couple of big plays, and I think Hall again had a pick there at the end, but the Redskins offense was just completely incapable of doing anything. With by it. the way, it, I guess this shows the depth of of the Broncos offense. Julius Thomas goes down with an ankle injury. Joel Dreesen has a touchdown catch. They are just so incredibly that was, good. On that, was a, that was a big uh, fourth down conversion too when it was 21-7. That was a huge play. So uh, are the Broncos going to go to the Super Bowl, Ben? I think they're the favorites to go to the Super Bowl. But, you know, I mean, in, uh, depending on where that game is, you know, we just saw what happened to them when they played in Indianapolis. Sure. And if they have to play that game on the road, uh, they could lose it. Well, it shows that they could lose at home too. Yeah, they could lose at home, uh, being I mean, being down to the Redskins like this. But but they're very good. It will be very interesting. I think they're going to beat the Chiefs both times, but it's going to be very interesting to see what happens in those games. The Chiefs, sure. obviously, if the Redskins shut them down for a half, you imagine the Chiefs could, and the Chiefs won't give up 31 points in the second half. No, that, that's not going to happen.